Yo, it's your boy Jarvis, aka Big Bro 616, checking in with another video. Might have some lit fitters for you guys today. Well, I don't know how lit it might be. Today, I think we're going to be doing an oil change on the Camaro. Yes, guys, the Camaro's first oil change. I know I kind of say like I've been neglecting the Camaro, but man, I work a lot, man. So it's not a full, it's not my my um, first priority. You know what I'm saying? I know I got the crib, got my uh, family and shit. So this just what I do in my uh, spare time. Um, that's what we're doing today. We might see my brother on the vlog today. Shout out to H to the. Might see him today. Might uh, do his brakes. Y'all know I did the brakes on my truck, so he got an Escalade. So we might be putting the, doing the brakes on it for him. That should be lit. And he always talking shit, so should be a good time. Plus, I ain't seen them in a, about a week. I don't know if it's been a week. It's been about a week. So, yep, yeah, we're going to do an oil change on the Camaro. We might take it out the uh, mid condition and do it. It depends on uh, how Carissa feel when she get home. But, yep. Yeah. Y'all see what's going on, man. I ain't the bragging type, man. I'm so humble. But y'all know what the fuck going on, man. Look at the, look at the motherfuckers. Beautiful out here. I took a vacation day today so I could help out with the family because my baby mama in surgery. So, hope the surgery is a success. And when you get to the crib, gonna get you some rest. And I'm gonna be in these streets. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold the kids down while she gone. Then when she get back, I'm outside. Y'all like, bro, you ain't shit. Nah, but it's all good, it's all love. So yep, today getting the Camaro uh, oil change. And we gotta clean the Camaro out, man. It's so trashy in here. We're gonna tackle that too. Get the Camaro cleaned out. Hey, Michigan Street Soldiers. Boy, you been outside lately, ain't you? I'm seeing you in traffic every day. All right. I thought you had to get a motor put in that thing, but y'all see that? See that thing growling and scooting and scatting and in these streets. Shout out to Michigan Street Soldiers. I know my uh my audience not that broad, but you guys want to get some lit content from what's going on in our area? Uh, subscribe to Michigan Street Soldiers. Make sure y'all getting that giveaway. He about to give away what? How much is it, bro? Like five hundred? Once he once you reach what? Five bands, 5,000 subscribers. He gonna be giving away another $500. They do it big over there at Michigan Street Soldiers. Shout out to the boy Z28, yay over at Fast Turtle Automotive. And we just wanna keep ins uh, inspiring each other, man. It's not no competition thing. I wanna see everybody win, both my brothers. Uh, shout out to the Lex Show. Y'all can follow him, uh, Lex Diamond on Facebook. Uh, the Lex Show on um, YouTube. Got some little nice little videos over there too. And we just humbly staying out the way. We humbly doing us, and hum humbly uh, celebrating what we got going on in our area. So it ain't like we on here trying to stunt, we ain't on here trying to brag. We just a bunch of car guys that just love, love the car culture and enjoying our craft. Sorry about that, sorry bro. Dude had a major attitude. Bro, I ain't never seen you on the street before. But anyway, man, guys, if you're not subscribed to Big Bro 616, man, what are you waiting for? I mean, I know I ain't doing nothing lit. I ain't burning rubber and I ain't doing donuts, but I'm outside too, baby. 24s, snowing, gut snowing. Y'all see I got that new hood on there. Man, I'm loving it. So we're gonna do an oil change on here. And um, what else can we do today? Clean the car out. I guess we can vacuum it. We can, we can go to the car wash and wipe it down. You know what I'm saying? Put some water on here. Cause the car do clean up pretty nice. But y'all know we ready for paint. I'm tired of boring y'all with telling y'all that we're ready for paint. It just, guys, I don't be really having the time to be 
making this my first priority. Like I said, this this overtime pros. You know what I'm saying? I, I do what I can with my little check when I get my overtime. And dibble and dabble with a little extras when I can. I ain't trying to impress nobody. I love my car. My, I'll drive this motherfucker like this for the rest of my life. If, if, if that's the case, this motherfucker look good. This motherfucker run good. And I'm shit, I'm outside too, shit. My shit ain't in the shop every week. Getting this motherfucker started up right now. And go anywhere. But I do got to change that oil. Guys, make sure y'all changing them oils in y'all cars. Make sure y'all uh, tune-ups. Did I leave the keys in the house? <clears throat> but yeah, this just a work in progress, man. I ain't trying to go to no car show. I could pull up to a car show and still, you know what I'm saying, be outside, but I ain't trying to enter no competition. I ain't trying to have smoke with nobody. Man, I'm just a regular dude doing my regular one, too. I love cars, too. Especially mine. If you don't love your own car, man, Ain't nobody else gonna love it for you. F body gang. A body gang. G body gang. Follow that, uh, follow them on, um, Facebook. F body. What is it? F, F body, G body, A body. Something like that. I gotta, uh, look it up. But yeah, man. When my brother get here, we gonna, um, slap them uh pads and rotors on his escalade he got a real nice escalade real nice he got that uh that candy uh what is it like a candy um cream with the pearl cadillac pearls in it y'all know that cadillac pearl white looking color he got that one but man y'all hey y'all be like this dude walk around his car a thousand times and i can't help it I'm infatuated. Built this car from the ground up. I don't know if I ever told y'all, man. This car was only was bought to be driveway decorations. This car was never supposed to have a motor in it. This car was never supposed to have the interior done. It was bought as a shell. No wiring, no nothing. Shout out to Mick Edition. I did. They woke this car up like Frankenstein. But yeah, this car was strictly driveway decoration. That way I want, it didn't have a motor in it, so I wasn't gonna have no leaks in the driveway. It just looked it so good. Just, uh, I took the IROCs off my old Magnum, folded them up with the adapters, and it looked it sweet. I'm gonna try to find a clip for you guys and try to insert that in here as well. But it was straight. Then, next thing you know, here comes Mr. Fast Turtle. Bro, I got a whole team for you. I got a whole NASCAR team. We had that mug running. I'm like, bro, I know I can't afford that. This, this, and that. Bro, I got you. And then we made it happen. Now this motherfucker start up and shoot to Chicago if, you wanna, if that's what we want to do. So shout out to the homie Fast Turtle Automotive. He's been uh very inspirational. He's been... uh a good influencer always good vibes but my brother will be here soon i gotta go in the house and finish cleaning up before my baby mama get out of surgery and we're gonna jump in the streets and try to get an oil change on this bad boy i think we're gonna try to do it ourselves but we want to go somewhere where uh if we mess something up i got bro i got bro and them to be like nah bro you gotta do this you gotta do that you need this size filter. And we're just gonna rock it out like that. So hopefully today we will be getting the oil change if my baby mama's surgery is a success. And we can successfully get her home and in the bed, chilling. And she can uh just relax. Might put the PlayStation in the room for her. But other than that, we're gonna get a th for sure. If my brother come through, we're gonna put his brakes on and then Hopefully we could be able to get the uh, oil change. The weather is nice. Uh, I went to the store in it earlier. I mean, it just, I got my hood pins. I don't got them bungee cords no more. I got my hood pins in here so the hood won't be flying up on me. Man, that was so dangerous. 
like the bungee cords was stretching and the hood came up like that much. And I'm trying to slow down and slowly close. And then I'm gonna just like, woof. I was like, oh, pulled over all fast and had to hop out and tie it down, retie it down. And, and it was crazy. Shit, y'all might just get a video of me talking, man. Y'all know I talk so much. But yep, that was very scary. So I might just do two videos today. Let y'all get this walk around footage. Y'all know what I love to do. I love to walk around my car. And my neighbor's like, man, this, he, this car been out on the street for almost a week. No, probably almost two weeks. It haven't been raining. So I just left it outside. Y'all know we need the weather stripping. So I can see that gap where the, the rain and the water can get in there. And, and we still got this little gap. So I'm gonna quit talking about that and get active with that probably in the next couple weeks. And then we, I don't know. We just going day by day, man. We ain't trying to make no promises, but this car will be painted this summer. I will say that. If I gotta just go ahead and put me on one of them suits and just get me a sander and just get busy. Cause I 100% want to paint this car myself. I mean, I come this far doing everything by myself and having a little tips from a couple of guys. Do this, do that. Man, this car didn't hide none of this when I bought it. No headlights, no bezels, no grill, no emblems. No, nothing like a straight skeleton. I'm just proud of myself, man. Shout out to me, man. Shout out to the big homie, Big Bro 616. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a lit video. I'm just at the crib chilling. I just did my daughter here. Well, I did it a, a couple hours ago, so she didn't play it and messed it up a little bit. For the, but for the first time, I parted it and just went on ahead and jumped in there. I love this thing, man. Big 24. And the stance, just so, so mean. That stance is just a one of a kind. That was a thumbnail, I just, look at them eye rocks on there, boy. Look at them eye rocks on there. Ain't no better wheel for a Camaro, a second, second gen than them eye rocks. I think I don't care how much money I think I think I'm IROX just now y'all see the vision that I had. I'm like, man, I'm looking for IROX. I gotta have IROX and the homie Z28 Yay made it happen for me. IROX just set this mug off. Ooh, that's nasty. And then I'm at a I'm at a crossroads, guys. I, I can need a, I can, I can use a little assistance. Interior. If you guys are true Big Bro 616 subscribers, you guys know the original plan with this interior was to have everything white with the black seats matching the black console, matching the black carpet. This cream theme, uh, I think I, since I successfully reupholstered these seats and it wasn't a headache i had a blast doing it i might just order the black uh seat covers and just re take this cream shit off it might be for sale probably give me like i don't know well, how much can i charge for these i pay what 500 for the front maybe 400 for the front and 200 for the back that's 600 i'll take 300 for the for the uh, upholstery for the covers, you know, you gotta use the hard greens and put them on y'all shit. Oh, I do everything for y'all. I'll probably charge like, so me to put these, this upholstery on your seats. I'll probably charge like $800. Cause I'm going, I think I'm going back black guys. Cause that, it, it just looked this so, the black went with the center console. And it went with the uh, black carpet. So I'm just gonna reupholster. I'm thinking about it. 
I'm thinking about it. The white, the, the cream is not, I'm not a fan of that at all. Especially it didn't turn, I bought, I thought I was buying white and the shit was cream, which, or I can dye all this cream, dye the hairliner, all the trim, but it'd be less work if I just redid the seats black. Or I already got the dye, pay like a couple hundred dollars for the for the uh, the dye, and I could just dye everything, dye every, all this stuff, the, the back tray, the trim, the trim around here, all that trim, all that. It could be the cream, but it'll still look white, but it's gonna be like an off white. So don't let me pull up with them off white Dior seats, boy. I'm really gone. <laughs> you know? But yeah, man, I'm just. I don't, I don't know what I, I don't. I do not know what I really want to do. That's why I haven't been as consistent as I should have been, as I should have been. I'm still. I'm. I don't know what I really want to do. I don't know what I really want to do. I got the car running good. I got. I got the, the mean stance on here. I don't. But I know I want to go black paint with this color stripe around the, um, that's the charcoal. I want that charcoal stripe all the way around the car. Y'all know it go around the fender flares in the front. I, I, I don't know the direction I want to go. Do I want to try to modify those fender flares that I have, or do I need to go try to find some more? Man, it was so hard. Not it was so hard. It's so hard to find those flares that, that flare out right here that go on the uh, fenders right here and it go around the whole front of the car then the stripes go along right here and then it's the flare that go back here that like a poke out like a like a like a um oh, how do i explain it like a wide body kit it's the original irock z28 uh kit and you know it go around the um tail the spoiler and it wraps around a car like that. So I just, I don't know what I want to do, guys. I do not know what I want to do. I might, I'm thinking about going back with the black seats or I got to re-dye everything else in the car except for the seats. To get that two color, everything just, the seats, the ceiling, everything in one color. Then you got the black carpet with the black, uh, the black carpet with the black, center console but i think uh sanding the, sanding the car down i think that's gonna be easy i think that's gonna be real easy because it's gonna be up to to my satisfaction i don't give a fuck about pulling up oh you gotta run right here oh you got to swirls and oh you got man get off my dick no homo but it just it's my car i feel like I could do whatever I want to do with my car. That's how those says, Big Bro 616. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm outside, man. I think I'm just going, this video almost 20 minutes long. Yep. Tired of boring y'all with saying what I'm going to do. But everything I said I'm going to do, it get done. It might take a minute. And I ain't getting no check from YouTube yet. So I'm just working off my little uh, bus driving overtime pros. And if you guys in the Grand Rapids area, man, my job is hiring. Like, for real. You want to be a bus driver? Come on and join the team. Just think of it like this. You get paid to ride around the city. You got front row seats to the whole city. Watching everything get built. Great benefit package, uh, great pay. It's lit, man. I love my job. I guess it ain't for everybody, but what it is, people lack discipline, and people don't have no structure in their lives. So it's like I can't be telling motherfuckers, man, come get the job. Put my name on the application. You're gonna be in there next week. Then you get in there and fuck my name. Or you can't fuck my name up. Cause you ain't signing my check. What I do at my job, that's what gets me paid. So, 
you don't want to work, I'm not going to be trying to help. You know what I'm saying? Point you in a direction if you ain't going to do what you need to do to, you know what I'm saying, obtain the bag. And it's a big bag, too. For real. I love it. But yeah, man, I'm not going to keep boring y'all with this uh, walk around my car content. I just love the angles. I love these angles. I love the muscle lines. If if I could say anything about this car with just the little 350 in it, this is a real muscle car. For real. Look at the lines. I, I don't even call them lines, I call them muscles. I love this hip, this hip area. This old rear quarter panel, see that, that line? That's a muscle. That motherfucker flexing. I got a foe sit up under there. Whoo, jeez. I got them shocks, just coil overs look up in there. Man, I wish I could just see this stains. It's crazy. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I guess I'm gonna turn the camera back on when my brother get here. He said he gonna get here like, get off work at like one. I don't even know what time it is, guys. Should be after one. He should be calling in a minute. But I'm loving it, man. The hood is just like icing on the cake. I just, like I, like I injected steroids into the car. That's a whole nother muscle. Them muscle lines. Look how that hood look. How I just stand all up into the windshield. I wanted to start it up, but I left the keys in the house. I don't feel like, look how that how the muscles back there. Look how, look how I will. That 24 up under there. Y'all see that? That's muscle, boy. Look at the shark gills. That's what I call that. Like, that's a shark gill. If this car was silver, I'd call this bitch a great white. A great white shark. Cause that'd be like the, the fin that sticks out of the water. Then would be the gills. That'd be the real tail. It's like a shark tail. Man, that, oh, I'm just coming up. I'm studying, I'm steadily coming up with ideas. This mug might go silver. Like a bluish silver. And you know, a great white shark is white under the belly that's the belly boy y'all better stop playing with me let me get in here and go check on the kids man it's your boy jarvis aka big bro 616 signing out with another video i'm out of here guys peace